By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. By the way, friend, I respect you as a um, as a reactor. Good morning, guys. So, good morning, whoever's here. If you're at work and you're just listening, good morning. How are you? Yes. I am. Since yesterday, um, I did a live yesterday. I'm going to go through some of the questions and let's see some of the comments from the actual live because I think I missed a lot yesterday. So, let's see. the live chat let me advance it a little bit so I did see where the Eric's family who's one of our mods um, asked a question I guess regarding to Olivia um, is she in Texas I guess how long has she been there um, I think we all kind of know I believe Olivia has been in Texas roughly about a month now. And, you know, there's varying different degrees of school of thought of what's going on, what's not going on. But at the end of the day, honestly, guys, it's it's like a mind bender trying to figure out sometimes what some of these people are talking about and to keep up with the storylines, because a lot of it is not. I don't want to say a lot of it's not true, but there's a portion that's not true because even if a, most of it's real, keep this in mind. All you need is one lie to throw things off, right? Um, one lie can change everything, right? Um, look what happened to our elections last, you know, last time, right? Um, so it's, like I said, it could, it could be one lie and that can just throw off everything. So as far as I'm concerned, one lie is too much, right? So, um, it almost doesn't matter how long Olivia has been in Texas, but to answer, um, Erica's question from Eric's family, let's see what other questions were in the chat. Um, Deborah Martin said, my grandmother used to say, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? And all of these men know that it's free and it won't cost them nothing. <laughs> well, you know what? You can get the milk for free, but it will cost you something because those gentlemen, those men who are involved with these women or any other women, what it's going to cost you is your paternity. That's one thing. It's going to cost you um, child support in the sum of a percentage of your income until they are 18 and for life, because depending on how well you bond with these children, you are going to um, want to help take care of them and you are going to want to be there for them financially if you are able for their whole life so it's going to cost you something right it's going to cost you something so um i think on the front end it it seems free but yeah on the back end yeah not so not so free to me um i think uh, let's see men men take me on multiple dates before he can even have access to know where i live let alone come in what's wrong with these women that's from life of destiny um, you know, Life of Destiny, she's one of our mods. She's very, you know, I see her picture here. She's a very beautiful woman. And oftentimes, and it's not to say that these mommies are not beautiful women. However, depending on where you're at in terms of your headspace and what you think of yourself and how you carry yourself and what you label as your worth, 
that is what's going to determine sometimes some of your boundaries. And if you're desperate and thirsty, unfortunately, you're going to act desperate and thirsty, which is, you know, that's the sad part, right? Um, so that's, that's that. Um, but obviously we see that, you know, life with destiny has standards and boundaries. And it's, again, it's not to say that these mommies don't, however, whatever their standard, their threshold is, isn't necessarily being reflected on these YouTube streets. And that, you know, again, that could be part of the storyline. We don't, you know, we only know what they're telling us. And like we know with Olivia, a lot of stuff is put on. So I just want to kind of put that out there, guys. Um, Tasha said, Chrissy gets sprung quick, hence her nine kids. Okay. <laughs> um, that was a great comment. Okay. Um... Let's see. Sammy Dizzle. These homosexuals say I love you real quick. These ladies are too old to not know this or care about it, especially since they have innocent, impressionable children around. So, you know, what's unfortunate is that when people, you know, I've seen in the comments, people say daddy issues. I mean... You know, I don't know Ming's background, but let's just say specific to the original three moms update um, that I've always kind of reported on, um, which is Olivia, Chrissy, and Jasmine. All of these ladies have had daddy issues. Olivia, I don't believe, had her dad around. Jasmine, I don't believe, had her dad around. And Chrissy, we know, did not have her dad around. And it's possible, allegedly, that her dad was even married. I, I think that's what's that's what's been thrown around. That being said, when you are, you know, there's a lot of psychology and a lot of information out there surrounding women who are missing a father. And I'm sure men who miss having a mother. Um, or their individual mother. So, you know, there's, look, there's a lot of psychology at play here. That's why I find them so fascinating. And, you know, yes, it is, a, you know, a, a train wreck. However, at the end of the day, um, it's just, it's really high drama, you know, just to be fair. It's high drama and it's interesting. It's interesting because a lot of us have gone through some of this, not to the extent of this, and I think we all, if you kind of look at yourself, can see a little bit of you in one, maybe some of these ladies, because we've all been there. What, what they're going through is nothing really unique. Now, the sum and totality, of course, is their story and what's going on, because again, we don't know how much of this is all true. Um, clearly, we know Chrissy has nine kids. Like there's some facts that are irrefutable, right? Um, however, um, the details are not always clear, right? We don't always know what all of the details are. So, um, you know, that being said, a lot of these women have had a missing father. They are looking for love. Chrissy's even said she's looked for love in the wrong places. And, you know, we see Olivia and Jasmine, even though they've had issues, in their with their kids fathers they've stuck mostly with one guy we see Chrissy's situation completely different and it's not to judge it's just everybody handles things differently um Jasmine was very dependent on Philip uh it appears that Olivia is the same way with Gerard but in a different way where she really is more on the controlling side Jasmine was more on the on the controlled side um, and Chrissy I think in some of her videos she's even talked about she's a control freak she needs to really be in control of what's going on so this some of this for Chrissy can just definitely be by design um, not necessarily intentionally by design but it's you know it's um, again looking for love in the wrong places kind of maybe 
having a formula and that formula just starts to repeat itself with the best of intentions. Cause I don't know that she set out to say, I'm going to have nine kids. I think it's just, it just turned out that way. Um, I think that going from three to five was probably a huge turning point with best of intentions. I think she got with Cash's dad and, um, you know, that did not turn out so well. And then she met DeMarcus who married her. And I think the intent was there that things would have turned out differently, but unfortunately they did not. Um, because even though sometimes when we are in the process of changing our lives, some of the pathology needs to change along with the intent of the change. So let's just say walking the walk and talking the talk. So even though maybe she articulated, she wanted to change, she was looking for something different, um, the actions needed to line up. And if the actions and the pathology, the type of guy, the scenario, the kind of how it played out, how it was laid out, all seemed very familiar, then we got a similar result, even though it started out differently. She married, you know, they got married, all of that. It just, unfortunately, you know, sometimes like they say, um, there's an expression wherever you go, that's where you are. Right. And, um, in those type of situations, as long as you're still in the mix, you are the one who's still in the mix. Right. So, um, it's unfortunate. Um, but you know, again, she, they all have beautiful families. Chrissy, she's got nine beautiful kids. She seems happy. She's maintaining her youth. She's holding on to her, you know, she's, she's got, you know, she's cute. She's very cute. Woman. Um, and you know, she's holding on to herself. And I think that at the end of the day, um, all three of these women want something outside of themselves. Um, number one, my, you know, my observation, I'm going to give you say my advice is the best thing to do is find within yourself first and then everything on the outside will flourish. Obviously these are talented women. They have found a niche in YouTube that is A, a good playing ground for them. They've been able to create individual sources of income to be stay at home moms by their own design. These are ladies who have a extreme amount of potential, but I enjoy their channels. That's why I started watching them. I didn't immediately see their channels and start reacting. Right. Um, but for that reason, um, yeah, I think we all want to see them win. I maybe there are people out there who want to see them fall flat on their faces and lose, but I'm I'm not in that list. So yeah, let me address the echo yesterday when uh, True came in, even when um, uh, Tasha came in. I think because I'm using an external mic, it's possible it was bump. It was. Um, reverbing is what they call it, I guess. It was bouncing. So the sound from the computer was bouncing off of this internal mic. Typically, if I was not using an external mic, it probably wouldn't be doing that. So if you notice later when Tasha called in, I realized, hey, maybe this is reverbing on my external mic. I went ahead and muted myself as um, towards the end, maybe you can tell, I muted myself when True was talking and I definitely had myself muted when Tasha was talking. So that's just kind of a note to self in the future if there is kind of a um, echo, it's possible when I use um, the external mics, not in my computer, but you know, one of these, um, and this is just an Amazon mic that I use, um, it's possible that that's what created the situation. So I, I muted myself and I think that that made, um, the difference. So, um, you know, this is all trial and error here on YouTube. And, uh, you know, this quarantine has given me an opportunity to have some more time to play with, 
to be able to do some things um, and be fulfilled as not only a mommy, but as, you know, as an individual, right? Because um, a lot of us have, I'm playing around with this light. Um, I thought for a minute it was too bright, but I guess that's what it is. Um, a lot of us have um, hopes, desires, dreams uh, that we want to fulfill. And oftentimes there's never gonna be a perfect timing we just have to go out, grab it, take it, and make something out of it. Or we only can look back in regret and think, gosh, when I had the time, or woulda, shoulda, coulda. And for that reason, I definitely have to give these three mommies and all of the mommies out here on YouTube who are pursuing and following a dream, following an aspiration, um, leveraging a talent turn that into a stream of income i have to give everyone out here who's at least trying and that's whether and that's not just even on youtube that's just period and women have to be able to support a family my point is is that there are many mediums out here youtube included that have made it possible for women to be fulfilled be mothers be whatever they want to be whether it's on etsy whether it's you know many other platforms instagram whatever to be able to be everything and anything that you want to be and be able to make a coin doing it so i think it's i think it's amazing and i would say that the main thing that i want to leave you guys with uh much appreciated all that you all do to support this channel along with the subscribers and the moderators and those who turn out on a regular basis whether you're subscribed not subscribed and watch these videos and enjoy these live streams from me to you i want to say thank you because i i do appreciate it your time but anyway guys i'm not gonna drag this out this morning you know how i feel about you guys you guys are awesome so again i'm gonna leave this up private for members only until about 12 one o'clock and then i'm gonna let it fly um and then we can do this again at another time. That's it. So anyway, guys, looks like I'm getting a call as usual when I'm recording, right? So I will um, see you guys again really soon. Bye. Take care. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and like this live. Thank you. Bye. By the way, friend, I respect you as a, as a reactor. By the way, friend. I respect you as a as a reactor, by friend. I respect you as a as a reactor. This is all about cloud. <laughs>